They don't have much, not even a place to live, but thanks to local laws against sleeping, sitting, lying down, and living in cars in public, they can get shelter in jail. Criminalized for trying to live, that's how the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty sees it in its new report. In part, a poor, short-sighted, and frankly lazy response to growing visible homelessness. The report tracked 187 cities for 10 years. It found Newark, Trenton, and Atlantic City have such laws to remove the homeless from public view. There's a sense that that, um, you know, of criminalizing yeah, homelessness. That's the last thing we want to do. So I, I feel for the people that are homeless uh, in my city. There are some here at St. John's Soup Kitchen who report some of those encounters with law enforcement being arrested for sleeping in public or something like that, but they declined to talk about their experience. It did not happen to this man, but he talked about the challenge of finding a place to put his head at night if he comes from work too late. We have no place to go, and then we're locked up for being somewhere that we can't help. You know, I was at the airport, and I was told I could not stay there, and there was no place for me to go. So what did you do? Just walk the streets, rode the bus until the bus stopped, and, you know, I got no rest at all. Richard Leach is the assistant director of the soup kitchen. It just bring down the, bring down the spirit a whole lot more, so it's going to make it even tougher for them to have a, have a chance to either get a job or get a place to stay. The National Law Center calls that collateral consequences, a criminal or misdemeanor record, would disqualify the homeless for housing programs and a lot more. The report says the gap between the number of shelter beds and the number of homeless people is growing. It highlights Union City, where about a quarter of the homeless population has a place to sleep at night, but 77 percent does not. Monarch Housing surveys New Jersey's 21 counties to get an accurate picture of homelessness, and it says it's growing as the nonprofit looks for housing solutions. Should the cops be showing some compassion so that they're not winding up the criminal justice system? Yes, they should show compassion. They should, they should reach out to the... Um, continuum of care, the uh, local advocates working on homelessness to try to help find solutions, get them into the system so we can assess them. Housing homeless people not only is the most effective at removing people from the streets, but it's cheaper. In fact, two to three times cheaper than doing nothing. And by nothing, I mean allowing people to be incarcerated, allowing them to cycle through our expensive emergency rooms because they are not protected from the elements. The National Law Center says when Utah decides decided to commit to providing housing, it reduced chronic homelessness by 91% in a decade. Michael Hill, NJTV News.